Hello, I'm Noelle Madison with Healthy Places blog Living with Adult ADHD and I want to talk about buying clothes. A lot of people with ADHD have a hard time finding clothes that are comfortable and fit and uh, we have all sorts of other is issues but you can read more about that in my article linked below. Right now I want to tell you what I've been doing in order to replace my wardrobe. Uh, one, I've been buying more clothes online and through shopping or like uh, iPhone apps. This does have its challenges because you have to be willing to return clothes and you have to buy clothes that you can't try on. But for me, uh, who gets really overwhelmed in malls and even boutiques, I find this to be a time-saving option and I find it to be kind of fun to just go through the apps and click on what I want. Um, number two, get rid of or at least divide clothes that are worn out or ripped or stayed so you're not tempted to wear really comfortable but unsightly clothes. I'm in the process of doing this. So if you can't find the time to donate them, at least put them in a box someplace else. Uh, number three, I think I was inspired by the new Queer Eye. Put your clothes in a closet, hang them up, and leave the closet open so you can see them. Yes, you might have to organize your closet or at least push things to one side, but I find it really helps me in the morning just seeing the clothes hanging up there and I don't have to rush to figure out an outfit. Um, you might just put your work clothes up there for ease. Uh, number four. You might want to avoid buying high maintenance outfits. I'm trying to not buy clothes that require dry cleaning and I do buy hand wash clothes but that's because I have access to a, a washing machine with a hand wash option. <laughs> and finally, if you do need to buy clothes in a store, uh, you might want to reward yourself with other things or do it while running other errands. Also, be sure to eat and drink while you're doing it. I have a problem with that. So those are some of my tips for people with ADHD who have a hard time with clothes shopping. I know some people with ADHD cannot get enough of clothes shopping, but um, I, I also know I'm not alone in this. So let me know uh, what you think about shopping for clothes in the comments and if you have any advice. So thank you so much for checking this video out and subscribe to Healthy Place for more videos about mental health. Bye.